Are you struggling to lose weight on a vegan diet? Don't worry, I've got you covered with my ultimate fat loss smoothie and shot combo. Let me introduce you to the fellas. So I'm starting off with half a litre of filtered water. I'm adding 500 mils of soya milk. Now, of course, your needs may vary, but I'll tell you my quantities, and then you can see the ratios and hopefully work out for yourself where you need to be. Next to protein powder, I've got Viva Life Perform protein powder, as always, in my view, the best protein on the market. I'm using the Madagascan vanilla flavour today because we're gonna make this into a like a strawberry ice cream flavor. It's gonna be so delicious. Tablespoon of ground flax seeds. This will add omega-3. It's very anti-inflammatory when you're training, very important. And also, just to say, I'm adding the powders and the smaller items first. I find if you put the big things in and the powders and seeds and things sit on top, often they get stuck around the side. So just a very good strategy to always employ. Now we're going in with a couple of tablespoons of chia seeds. Hopefully I've got enough in here, we're running out. I think that'll just about be right. Again, lots of essential omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, just helps your recovery and your inflammation. Seaweed, might sound bonkers, I've got a teaspoon of dulse, this is your RDA for iodine. Now, if your iodine is low, you're not burning fat as effectively, uh, some people are hypothyroid, just for that reason, so make sure you're getting some uh, seaweed. You won't taste it in there, it's gonna be a huge sweet smoothie with just a teaspoon of seaweed, so don't sweat it, I've not gone mental. Amla powder, we're going in with a teaspoon of powdered Indian gooseberry is what that is. It's actually the most antioxidant rich food in the world, so again, it's just gonna help you in terms of recovery. Now we've got white beans, any white bean will do. I mean, you could do any color, but it will just look nicer if it's a white bean. Um, these are haricot beans, they're spelled haricot. If you don't know them, well, you do know them, you eat them all the time and your beans on toast is what baked beans are uh, made with. So I've got a can of those, you can use cannellini beans, butter beans, chickpeas, anything like that. Again, I promise you won't taste them in the smoothie, particularly if you put in lots of dried fruit. I've got 100 grams of dates for my needs. You need some energy, carbohydrate I think is the best form when you're dieting, and that'll make it very sweet and delicious. You won't taste the nasty things in there. I've also got 300 grams of strawberries. Now they're so low in calories that you put lots in there, get lots of flavor, again, lots of antioxidants. And as well, I like to put in frozen things. I've also got frozen spinach. Just makes it cool and delicious. You'll just enjoy your smoothie so much more. And again, as I say, there we've got some spinach. Low in calories, very high in nutrition, and it'll keep it nice and cool. You probably know what's next, don't you really? Just time to whiz her up. As you can see, the smoothie's got the Ming in brown color. So historically, I have eaten my greens separately, but you might not be as hardcore as me, but if you want a pretty colored uh, smoothie, that's one potential option for you. Uh, now for the shot. So speaking of uh, minging this, I used to put these things all in the smoothie, but it just ruined the smoothie and it wasn't enjoyable. And I really love this smoothie. So I have this shot <laughs> before the smoothie and then chase it down. It's really quite minging, but Really great ingredients, so matcha tea, green tea, proven to be a fat burner. I don't know that it's that effective. I haven't personally found it that effective, but there is some science to suggest that it should be. So then why not? I mean, it's got loads of great antioxidants, polyphenols. It's really good against dementia, which currently is the biggest killer of UK residents. Uh, it clumps, so it's good to have a matcha whisk and a little half a coconut bowl, or any bowl will do. I don't know, I just think they look pretty together. Okay, so I've got a tiny bit of water in the bottom here. Now, really fat burning with good science to back it up, as agreed by Dr. Gregor of Nutrition Facts, all this black cumin seed powder. So we're going in with a teaspoon of that. That should really help to burn some fat off. Uh, we've got turmeric as well, which is anti-inflammatory. So again, it's going to be a great aid to recovery. I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of that to potentiate that and to get more of the curcuminoids, which are the sexy ingredient that really give us lots of benefits. We've got some black pepper. The piperine in there will give you 2,000% more bioavailable curcumin in your bloodstream. So that's really amazing. One of those great food synergy pairings. We've also got ginger, which is all over the table <laughs> and hugely anti-inflammatory as well. So these things just around training just help you to feel good and recover. Cheers. Oh. Earthling Ed, that's spicy. Did you get it? 
Okay, I got it. Vegan, <laughs> vegan Jesus. Mm. Oh God, damn! That is so nice. You got to check that out, guys. Now we'll get upstairs onto the computer. We'll log onto the chronometer app and see the nutritional breakdown. So I've plugged the foods in. Um, I've substituted the haricot beans with red kidney beans. The reason being, Chronometer doesn't have all nutrients for all foods, and just the red kidney beans have about 81 nutrients listed. Just out of all the beans, it seems to actually have some decent data. And I mean, it's a decent proxy, like there's not so much variation between beans. So you'll get the idea. Uh, all the other foods are correct. So calories 1,263, 53% of calories from carbs, 27 from protein and 21 from fat. Total protein, nearly 88 grams. Uh, net carbs, 131 grams. And fat is basically 29 grams. So 47 grams of fiber, amazing. Like that's really gonna help to fill you up. Um, and also you're optimizing your gut microbiome, which is your potential for good physical and mental health. Like that's, there's some to aim for, like the more fiber, the better, as long as you can uh, handle it. Fats, as I say, 29 grams, 6.3 grams of omega-3, so really, really high. There's a decent amount of omega-6 also. Low in saturates, no trans fats, no cholesterol, so super heart healthy. Unlike those animal foods. And then in terms of essential amino acids, you can see that they're all well and truly covered. Some of them are like several X, like what you actually need in a day. And now vitamins, the B vitamins are between like a third and like just over 100%. And this is just from one meal, bear in mind. 25% of your choline for the day, nearly all your folate. Vitamin A is retinal activity equivalent that a vegan needs to look at. For a female, 700 micrograms per day. For a male, uh, 900. So it's like half your vitamin A basically for the day. Lots of vitamin C. Not much D, of course we need that from the sun or a supplement. Vitamin E, that is actually the female UK RDA for vitamin E covered there for a male. It's uh, one milligram uh, higher, so four milligram total. Vitamin K is 546% the RDA. And the minerals, you can see they're all just about at 100% or some of them are several X the minimum RDA. So not too bad, eh? So as you can see, that vegan smoothie was super nutritious. Of course, as I said at the start, our needs may vary. I'm like larger than your average bear. Uh, if you want help figuring all that out, if you want someone to just do it all for you in terms of your nutrition and perhaps a workout plan as well, if you want to be held accountable, I am now offering an online bespoke one-to-one -one premium coaching service. I have space for one more client currently. So link below if you want to have a look at that and see if we're a good fit to work together. Other than that, click this.